Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick video. All right, y'all, just back with my predictions for tonight's fight night. Got three WMMA fights taking place. And I um, actually did the uh, predictions in the live stream last night. But just in case you don't want to go through the live stream because it was kind of a long one I did last night, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the video here because somebody did ask me to do the predictions. So I only got four and a half hours before fight night. So let me go ahead and drop it and upload it for y'all. All right, first up, Alexis Davis versus Abina Mazo two flyweights actually fighting a bantamweight <laughs> yeah man so uh with this fight i think the weight will kind of come into play as far as how it makes the fighter stronger because i actually think that alexis davis might be better at this weight now that she's getting older you know she is 36 and you know i feel like i, I started to weigh in i saw how her body looked too you know she's looking good you know physically stronger i think that might really add to her performance sabina mazo you know she is a tall long flyweight so with the extra weight in this fight this might actually add to her power so uh, looking at this fight here, I actually feel like Sabina Mazo has has the advantages. You know, she is the younger fighter and the added weight might make her a little bit stronger. And early on in this fight, I think that, you know, Alexis Davis is going to want to press the action. And I think her style might be a little bit tailor made for Sabina Mazo. It's going to make Sabina Mazo have to be more active because sometimes Sabina Mazo, you know, she, she's a slow starter. She was a slow starter in that Justine Keach fight. And eventually she caught up to Justine Keach because, you know, she just stayed uh, she just stayed at a good range. Uh, she took a few shots here and there, but she kept her honest with her power. You know, and I think that in this fight, Alexis Davis, you know, um, is going to be taking big shots. You know, I think her defense can be spotty at times. You know, she likes to brawl. Uh, she likes to come straight in and put hands on you. And Sabina Mazo, she's a very calculated puncher. She's a calculated kicker as well. And I, I can see those head kicks really coming into play in this fight. So if I had to pick, I'm going to go with, I think in my live stream I said first or second round stoppage for Sabina Mazo, but I'm going to have to say second or third round. Or if it goes to the distance, I could see, you know, uh, Sabina Mazo really doing some damage on Alexis Davis in this fight. Now, we never know those veteran tricks can come in. Alexis Davis can press the action, smother the attack, and make it a very ugly uh, brawling fight, uh, mauling fight on the ground. But... I'm going to have to go with Sabina Mazo in this one. I think she just has the, uh, I think she has youth and power on her side in this fight. And, you know, just a very calculated, accurate puncher and kicker. You know, very, very deadly hit kicks. So I'm going to have to go with Sabina Mazo by second or third round stoppage in this fight. Um, second up, uh, short notice rematch for Angela Hill and Ashley Yoder. Uh, it was about three and a half years ago since, since they fought. And since then, Angela Hill's fought like 11 times, man. I'm surprised, man. Like, that's that's very active that's very active and uh, i think uh ashley yoda's fought maybe like five or six which is normal but you know that just shows you that angela hill staying active she's learning on the job and uh, i think since then you know i think she's definitely uh picked up some moves i think she's definitely getting a little bit better uh just a little bit you know she's still a fighter that needs to really step out of the box you know angela hill i think um she needs to work on the cardio uh you know when she goes in those deep waters she needs to stay active and I think that's going to be something she has to do against somebody like Ashley Yoder. Ashley Yoder is a very tough fighter. You know, I feel Ashley Yoder likes to fight. She likes to come straight in. You know, she never turns down a fight. She'll come in there and she'll make it an ugly fight with you. And that's something that Angela has to look out for. You know, she'll want to clinch and smother the stand-up fighter in Angela Hill. So Angela Hill has to start early. Start early. Uh, use her jab. Uh, use those awkward angles that she uses against some of these other fighters that gets her success and make sure she can try to close the show she needs to sit down on her punches as for ashley yoda you know she needs to press the action take this fight to the ground use her flexibility and look for the submission early on so if i had to pick in this fight um just going by who's made the most improvements in the past three and a half years and just who still has that better caliber uh i'm gonna have to go with angela hill it's gonna be another close fight don't see anybody getting stopped if a submission comes i could see it coming from ashley yoda just because she's so flexible on the ground and she's so quick to you know make those quick little maneuvers and if she got Angela Hill to the ground in like the second or third round I could see her finding like a rear naked choke on Angela Hill but Angela Hill's takedown defense has getting has gotten better you know I have to give her that but I'm gonna have to go with Angela Hill by another close decision in this one all right last fight Montana De La Rosa versus Myra Buenas Silva this is going to be a good fight first off just like I was telling some people uh, over the past few weeks with this fight, I see red. I really do see red in this fight. This fight is not going the distance. Somebody's getting submitted. Somebody's getting stopped in this fight. And there's going to be blood on the canvas. I'm talking about a lot of blood on the canvas. Both of these fighters are very gritty. They never turn down a fight. They'll come straight in and fight you head on. Um, 
Myra Buena Silva, that shoot box style, you know, she's going to put the pressure on Montana De La Rosa early on in this fight. Montana De La Rosa, uh, I don't feel like she's the best striker. Uh, you know, she's more of a wrestler. She's more of a grappler. But she, she's, um, she will take advantage if you stand in front of her. And I think that if she tries to find that range early on, she's going to be firing off some heavy power punches on Myra Buena Silva. But as long as Myra Buena Silva keeps that range and, you know, that good distance, she'll stay out of range and she'll pop off her jab. And that's what Myra Buena Silva is going to need in this fight. She's going to need to go to the body early with good side kicks like Andrea, Andrea Lee did. Uh, she's going to have to pop off a good jab and she's going to have to initiate that pressure on my uh, on uh, Montana De La Rosa because I think Montana De La Rosa is more effective with her striking coming forward but if you back her up she's not as effective because she doesn't have her footwork isn't that good you know I think her footwork is a little bit flat-footed and stationary so it's more effective if she's a power puncher so if Myra Buena Silva backs up Montana De La Rosa that's where she's going to be more effective and that's where she's going to do damage so if she starts if she establishes a good jab early on on Montana De La Rosa, you're, you're going to see blood. If she starts hitting that face early on, you're going to see a lot of blood in this fight, and she's going to do some damage on uh, Montana De La Rosa. So for my one itself, I said go to the body early, work the jab, and just make this a good stand-up fight. Use angles and just back her up and keep the pressure on her. For Montana De La Rosa, I feel like she has to come forward with her own pressure, and she she has to initiate the strength in this fight in the muscle and in the mauling because she is the bigger fighter here you know so she needs to be physical smother the offense and go to the body as well she needs to go to the body as well on a Myra Buena Silva I feel like that's where Marina Moreau had the most success I feel like when she went switch levels it opened up headshots for Marina Moreau I know Montana De La Rosa is not a, she's not as good of a striker or boxer as Marina Moreau but that's where she's going to have to get her best uh, shots off her take her best chance because I think she is a harder hitter than Marina Moreau because she is more stationary on her feet. But going into this fight here, I feel like um, Myra Buena Silva, you know, her ground game is underrated. So I think that Montana De La Rosa, if she takes it to the ground, if she gets if she gets sloppy, you could see Myra Buena Silva fighting well off of her back and possibly getting a submission in this fight. So with that being said, my prediction, Myra Buena Silva by third round submission. I feel like if she works her striking early on, if she outboxes and outstrikes Montana De La Rosa in like the first two rounds and really takes the win out of and takes the win in the fight out of Montana De La Rosa, Montana De La Rosa, De La Rosa is going to want to take that chance and be the bigger fighter and finally bully in and take Myra Buena Silva to the ground because Myra Buena Silva she can be taken down, she can be taken down. So if she gets taken down, it's going to be slippery and bloody at this point. But I see Myra Buena Silva eventually maneuvering, using her grappling skills coming into play, and I see her submitting the fatigued Montana De La Rosa in the third round. So yeah, that's that's my prediction. Myra Buena Silva by third round submission, going to be a bloody fight. So once again, recap. First fight, I have Sabina Mazo by second to third round stoppage. Angela Hill by close decision over Ashley Yoder. And finally, Myra Buena Silva by third round submission over Montana De La Rosa. So yeah, guys, those are my predictions. So fight night's going to be starting pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and drop this video. Let me know, guys, who you think is going to win. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.